can go to native-land.ca, which shows a, a world map that's got uh, quite a bit on it. So um, that's a good place to start for sure. Yeah, it's a good starting place. It isn't somewhere that I think people should end. There have mm -hmm. been some critiques of, of that site um, that are, I think are legitimate. Uh, but it is, it can be a good start for a lot of people. Um, I think one of the main things um, that's important when we do land acknowledgements is making sure that, you know, we're not talking about Indigenous people as if they're people of the past, mm -hmm. um, because I think that is something that a lot of people do um, and I see happen. And, uh, you know, uh, as I noted, like today, Toronto is to home to Indigenous people from across Turtle Island. And, um, you know, as somebody of mostly French Canadian descent, you know, I, I certainly have my own uh, historical connections um, and, and ancestry that is important to me. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's one for me to also, you know, recognize that I don't have current, you know, cultural connections. Um, other than the communities that I've gotten to be, you know, a guest at their ceremonies, um, which I am always grateful for. Um, and so for anybody who doesn't know um, where those land acknowledgements actually come from, it's actually uh, one of the recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in regards to indi uh, the um, Indian residential school system um, uh, uh, here in Canada and, and that um, is just one of many recommendations um, uh, that are there. And I, I highly recommend people read the recommendations. Some of them are directed entirely towards government, but then there's others that are more um, widely applicable like land acknowledgements.